Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Got a racy cylinder head here today. This thing has uh, had a uh, turbocharger run through it. So, they're pretty confident that it's blown pieces through the valves and dinged up the seats. So, and I'm gonna knock this thing apart. Probably grind some valves and clean up some seats and we'll see what kind of poor work's been done on this thing, if anything. I know they've changed valves to something. They're apparently not all the same either. The divots are different on this cylinder, so maybe it's blowed up once before. Anyway, it's uh, not up to me to, so let's uh, Get this thing tore apart and see what we got here. I'd say this is an example of the wrong retainer with the spring. You can see it's chewing on this corner, chewing up in there, and uh, the uh, OD of the spring is bigger than the step, so this thing won't pile it on this, this spring right. It's free to move around all over the place. And then when it's in here, it's still doing the same. So it's letting this thing get cocked over here. And the spring's trying to jump and get over its edge. And when it's under load, so I'd say that's not ideal. I'd probably change these if it was me. So there you can see the material and battling the valve. So, got a lot of them like that. That's what happens when the turbo goes through it. Well, there it is. Got it all apart. So we've got both a different intake and exhaust on this one cylinder. Uh, it's neither of these or undercut on the stem like the rest of these and the face is taller too it's a little different profile probably a different brand the radius on top is different too mix and match but you can see got some pretty good pieces embedded in these valves So, let's get that all ground out and get these seats cleaned up, get this thing back together. So I went and looked at my retainers. It's one of my retainers. It fits this spring right. You can see it. the spring and the diameter of the seats the same. As opposed to this one which is not and has all that extra play. Where is this? Virtually no play. And it fits right on that end too. It doesn't even really wiggle around on it. Whereas this one here moves a bunch. So, a lot lighter retainer than the ones I have, but these probably won't come off. 
this could at some point probably be an issue. I don't know. Maybe it ain't. I wouldn't be too keen on it. Okay, so head work continues. Mm -hmm. Trying to follow my David Vizar, Charles Servito head portings. I watch on YouTube. Trying to do a good job myself. Wish I had more tools, but working with what we got, I think nothing else. I'll be making this better anyway. Somebody had put a 2 1 intake valve in here with the original size seat. I don't really figure that was really gaining me anything besides some valve shouting. So the port that was in this head was only 1 7. Uh, through the throat back here. So I've come in and uh, bored all these throats out to make them even sized and then they're the ports are on that side over there. So they're all angled that way To follow the port I don't know if that's picking up on camera. It probably picks up on camera. You should be able to see that the the port angles towards the, the guide and the entrance on both these. It's not a cross flow head. There's no nowhere going this way. It's all going that way. And you can see that uh, resulted in a little bit of a step there. And this is for the swirl. I didn't want to take that out. Uh, we're going to leave that. So, just cut that down and give it a little over the edge here. Uh, that'll pick up a lot of flow. That one there probably doesn't really need any. I barely, barely touched it. All these are cut to the same, so that's just how much casting difference there is. So, the throats behind the bowls are opened up 15% or 20% depending on whether it's the intake or the exhaust. I think that should definitely help it. Uh, it's still a way smaller cross-sectional area size-wise than the uh, intakes themselves are. Yeah. We've got the dividers in here, welded them in the head. So, get the bar and go to town and see if I can't get these transitions knocked out of here and make this look decent. There's a little comparison. So, that's the, the port I blended out. And that's what they look like. Just bored. So, you got to more bias that direction to help the air come over into the cylinder in the center or actually go out from the center because that's an exhaust port. So I think that'll be better. And there's an intake done. Let's say I just took all the the sharp edges off and kind of blended it out and that's really all I did there to get real carried away because I don't want to mess anything up as far as swirl or how this comes over the edge or anything so I think surely opening up an eighth of an inch more is bound to be going to help this especially with a bigger intake valve in it uh, it was really shrouded bad before behind the back side of the valve. And I don't really care for that. So, just a couple more to do, and this thing will be done. Now we're getting the valve seats touched up. See, so look, got some eccentricity issue on that one. Uh, got a lot more touch on this side and that side. That's 
Not uncommon though. I find a lot of these heads that get cut on uh, machines rather than using stones on the pallets tend to suffer from concentricity issues. So, that's what the head started looking like. No dividers. And that's what it looks like now. Got dividers. Kind of looks like a big block Chevy. So I'm about out of battery, so I'm just going in there and take a little look before I seal this up. So that's the open up throats. This wasn't really a all out max effort porting job as it was just a bowl clean up and make it better than it was. I figure I've probably picked this thing up 10, 15% anyway with just a opening this throat. I didn't really want to come out any further than that because I was afraid I might lose these seats out of the head. Better safe than disaster. But there's a lot of material going out of there. Over an eighth of an inch. Should make a difference. And of course, they're going back together with the correct retainers. So, I think that'll be a lot better. Well, there it is, all back together. The, the retainers on. Had to reshim them all because of changing the retainers. So, but got them all where they need to be. So I hope you enjoyed getting to see this head job and doing a little bit of important work on it that I did. So, if you, if you want to learn more about uh, important work, David Vizard and Charles Servito's channels are good places to learn about that you're into that sort of thing. Other than that, I think it's time to get this loaded up and back to the customer so they can go pulling. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.